special day because we have here with us Miss Rong Fu, my first ever Asian Canadian actress. Really? Wow, I'm very honored. I always start off in the same way and that is to ask my guests where they are from. Oh, uh, good question. I was born and made in China. Born and made. Born and made. Right. <laughs> made and born. <laughs> thank you so much for that. <laughs> I was thinking about that visual, guys. So yeah. Just in case. Just in case. It's, you a, didn't know. it's a reverse assembly over there. Yeah. Let's <laughs> <laughs> write that in your <laughs> And so you're born in China, and then yeah. when did you actually move to Canada? Um, so my family and I moved to Canada when I was eight, and we've been in this country for about 20 years now. And actually, like exactly it? 20 years. No way. Yeah. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. Um, and I do like it. I think, you know, I think about the life that I would have had in China and, you know, I wonder all the time if I would have gone into um, acting had I stayed, you know. I mean, my, my mom back um, back in China always did always sign me up for different types of art uh, oh. classes and extracurriculars. So there's obviously a chance that I could have gone that route as well, but I'm, I don't remember in school having had much of a drama curriculum mm -hmm. and then coming here I was able to go to um, an arts high school and then kind of continue my arts education through that um, but yeah so that's something I, I think about all the time um, but China has also like progressed so much mm -hmm. it's grown like immensely so who knows I might even have a better life in China Wow, I don't know. Way to get dark, guys. <laughs> what do your parents do? My parents uh, both work in building maintenance. Do you have any siblings? I don't, I'm an only child. <gasps> so, well, You're a special breed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well I mean that's also, uh, it's interesting too, um, growing up in China everyone was a single child. So coming here was the first time. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Can you speak a little bit about that, please? For sure. What that means? Um, yeah. So you know, China had the one child policy, one child policy, which has now been lifted. Um, but most children in my generation are only children, with the exception if you are um, happen to be a twin, um, or depending on the region that you live in. So not that we're gonna get into this very much, yeah. but if you were a twin, what did that mean? Um, it didn't mean anything, it's just you happen to give birth to twins and therefore the policy is exempt. <laughs> just checking, like yeah. I know they're like, so... You can't, it's not a Sophie's Choice situation. <laughs> just making sure, just making yeah. sure. What was it like growing up in your house? Uh, well, we moved to um, a, uh, an apartment building in East York. Um, and grow up, growing up in that area was really interesting because it was a lot of new immigrants. Okay. Um, tended to move into that area and so... Um, you know, part of the blessing of that is growing up in a very multicultural community um, and growing up in schools where, um, where luckily I didn't feel like a minority at all because we were all kind of, you know, equally represented. Um, enter the real world. <laughs> yeah, enter, it was kind of, yeah, it was sort of like a model of the, the real world. So um, it was really just uh, uh, when I got more into theater that I started to become aware of the marginalization of of minority voices in the arts, uh, which was an interesting thing to confront, having grown up feeling very much a part of the majority, um, and then to kind of um, realize the sort of uh, imbalance in representation and in our storytelling on stage. Well, that's the reason why I started this podcast. It's not a podcast, guys. It's a Lovely. vlog. <laughs> um, and so it's the reason why I started this vlog was because mm -hmm. I felt like minority actors mm -hmm. didn't have a voice. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to give them a voice, and especially the future generations. I wanted to let them see themselves represented mm -hmm. and know that it's possible to have a career mm -hmm. in this industry in Toronto mm -hmm. and around the world. And um, for Move That Movement. Mm -hmm. For Move That Movement? It works. It's yeah. my show. <laughs> I went to Earl Hag Secondary School, <laughs> and uh, I went to Cardinal Carter, right. which was right down the street. <laughs> she went to the public school or whatever, and I went to the Catholic school yeah. or whatever. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Earl Hag had a um, arts program called Claude Watson, and so I auditioned for that in middle school, and I got in. And uh, it's really been one of the, you know, the first lucky break I've ever gotten because it was a really good school. I danced since I was three, yeah. but then you would go to school and you're like this separate, it's separate thing. thing, yeah. And then all of a sudden you're in this school, 
yeah. that you're completely embraced. All of your creative um, energies are embraced, and that can be a lot of energy as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. So, and, and different than a lot of um, um, laymen. <laughs> Normies, we call them, the collegiate <laughs> school, <laughs> or collegiate. He, she's well educated, uh, more so than me. Normie, I'm sticking with normie. Um, thank you, Jenny Simonia, another amazing um, Asian actress uh, that I hope to get on my show. Blocking you. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was a drama major, even though, like up until senior year, there were still some people that thought I was a music major. Uh, because but... doesn't Earl Haig do that minor major thing? Oh. Uh, we don't, actually. I think maybe in the past they had an option for you to major and minor yeah. in two different art streams. Um, but I think by the time I got there, you can only major in one. Oh! Maybe. I don't remember. that number. It's a little fuzzy. That's fair. Um, so you were a drama major. <coughs> yes, I was a drama major. Had one major. I only had one major. Even um, though they thought that she was in music. Which thought, makes me think that maybe she was, had a minor in music. Uh, oh, I did take a lot of music. Um, just saying. But also racism. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I did drama major there, and then... Uh, she said racism. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's true. It's like they would guess, like, are you a music major? Are you a visual arts major? They're like, screen arts major? No way! You're not a dance major. Drama? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. That's kind of hilarious and kind of the point of this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to keep calling it a podcast, apparently. It's a vlog! It's a Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another episode of The Black Dare Studio. I'm so confused because I was I was thinking I was like don't go back to the paper because you know what you're gonna say and then it went. <laughs>